Welcome to today's meditation. My name is Bradley Marcus Is. If you're new here, I teach Buddhist practice, philosophy, and meditations. And today we are going to do a 10 to 15 minute meditation right here, right now, to give us a better understanding of non-attachment and how we can practice non-attachment to live a more peaceful and happy life. So if you struggle with anxiety, stress, worry, this is an ancient practice, thousands of years old, that, are, that is going to help you if you put in that work and if you show up for yourself consistently. Many people may know this already, but meditation has been known to change the actual structure of the brain and we start to live in more of an alpha brainwave state and we stop worrying so much, pretty much. I myself have meditated now consistently for the past four years and my life has not only changed exponentially for the better, but when I sit down and go to bed at night, my mind does not race, and I hope that you can achieve that as well. So when you are ready, please find a quiet place where you can sit upright if you are able to do so, and make sure there are no distractions, nothing that's going to pull your attention away from this meditation. It's only going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to do it together, me and you. So when you're ready, I'd like you to sit down upright so you don't get sleepy if you're able to do so, and take a moment to simply look around the room and start to label some things. I'd like you to just look around the room. If you see a chair, recognize that's a chair. If you see a couch, recognize that's a couch. If you see the floor, recognize that's the floor. And what we're doing is we're becoming a bit present. We're grounding ourselves in the present situation, the present experience. Just coming here, coming home to this moment, the only moment that exists. And we can hold a moment of gratitude for this moment. Because if you're looking at this on your iPhone or on your computer, we're probably a lot better off than some people right now. So we can hold gratitude for that. And when you are ready, please close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out and blow all the air out of your lungs. <sighs> keep going, keep going till there's no air left. Get all that stale air out and then return to a normal breathing, keeping the eyes closed. If you'd like, you can do the eyes open or even just half open. But right now we're just gonna be breathing at a consistent rate through the nose, out the nose. If you can't breathe through your nose, then you can do it out of your mouth. And now we're gonna set a little intention. The intention of this meditation is to understand non-attachment as well as become present with the moment. So go ahead and set that intention right now. I'll give you a few moments to do so. So I'd like you now to bring your awareness to your nostrils. Bring your awareness to your nose, both nostrils, and I'd like you to start to be aware of the sensations of the air coming in and out of the body. If this is your first time meditating, it might seem a little boring, but I implore you and I encourage you to be like a scientist who is discovering the breath for the first time. Find the joy and the wonder in the breath like a child would. Breathing in through the nose and out the nose. And you can label different sensations. Are things cold? Are things tingling? Are things warm? Is there pressure? Is there lack of pressure? Whatever it is that you observe, take a mental note. Like a kid in science class discovering a, an ant for the first time. Take that mental note right now. Just be with this experience. Do that for a few moments now.
If your mind starts to run, that's okay. Listen to the sound of my voice and come back to me. Come back to the instructions. Simply breathing through the nose and out the nose. Observing the sensations. Our thoughts are like cars. We want to let these cars pass us on the road. We're standing on the side of the road and we're watching the cars pass. And if we happen to jump in that car with the driver and it starts to take us to some place, that's okay because we can always return back to the side of the road. And when we do so, I want you to not have any opinion about the feeling or the decision to jump in the car. What I mean by that is don't get hard on yourself if you jump in the car. Just let the car leave, say goodbye to the thought, let it drive, and return to the side of the road, observing the cars. This is incredibly important that we do not have an opinion or a reaction to us jumping in the car. Do not get hard on, down on yourself, do not be hard on yourself. Just returning to that breath and that awareness in the nostrils, simply feeling that air. And whatever sensations arise, whatever thoughts appear, not only do I want you to let them come and go, but I also want you to not have any attachment to them. So for example, if it's a good thought, you can be with that good thought, but don't have any attachment. Don't try to hold on to it. If it's a bad thought, don't try to push it away, just let it be there. And start to realize that you are actually not these thoughts. These thoughts are not you and you are not them. They are just passing moments of existence, passing sensations of existence. Let that car come and go. If your mind begins to wander, that is okay. Return to the breath without any reaction, with non-attachment to the situation of you leaving the breath. Every time that you return to the breath, you can look at it like a rep at the gym. When our mind wanders and we come back, it's like we completed one full rep one exercise we're getting stronger every time we return to the breath we're getting stronger and stronger at staying present with the breath so don't hold any attachment or aversion or ill will towards that experience because it's actually benefiting you Now what I would like you to do to solidify the practice of non-attachment a bit more is I'd like you to think of your favorite food, something that brings you the most joy. 
And I'd like you to picture it in front of you right now. Whether you're hungry or not right now, I'd just like you to picture your favorite food. And you're about to dive in and eat that food. And you're about to have this experience in your imagination of enjoying and indulging in your food. Your favorite food. What does it look like before you dive in? How does it smell? Are you with friends and family that also enjoy this food? Are people smiling and laughing? Is there a good moment happening? And now I'd like you to imagine eating the food with those people or by yourself, whichever you prefer. And I'd like you to be entirely present with that experience. Actually imagine it going into your mouth, feeling the taste on your tongue, smelling the flavors in the air, swallowing, feeling it go down your throat, into your stomach, and all of those pleasurable sensations that we get from our favorite food. Go ahead and do that now. Now I'd like you to imagine finishing the last bite and ending this pleasurable experience in our imagination. And I'd also like you to imagine that you are now done with this experience completely. And I would like you to be grateful for that experience but also accept that that experience is now over. And that's okay, because all things must change. It is the one law of life that all things are impermanent. And I'd like you to acknowledge that you were present entirely with that moment. And as it came, it also went. And I'd like you to hold non-attachment to that experience you don't need more of that experience. You don't need more. You can just let it be. You can let it be. You can be grateful for it and move on. This can apply to any experience in your life, good or bad. If it was a bad experience, you can just let it come and go. You might be a bit happier that it's gone. But while it's there, you don't need to try to push it away. You can just allow it to be. Allow all these things to just be. Because that's all they are. They're all just being. All is just being. There only is. That is all that exists. Coming back to that breath in the nostrils. We'll be finishing up here very soon. Bringing our attention and our awareness back to the sensation of the nostrils and the air coming in and out. We can be grateful. Grateful for our breath. Grateful for this moment and grateful for today's meditation. At the sound of the bell, you may open your eyes. Thank you for joining me on today's meditation of non-attachment. If you'd like to know a bit more about non-attachment, you can check out my previous video where I discuss it a bit more and the difference between detachment and non-attachment. It's really important that we understand the difference because to practice non-attachment, to be peaceful with ourselves and the life around us, and to also still live a fruitful and happy life where we can eat and enjoy food, for example, we want to know the difference and understand the difference. 
This is a practice. You can return back to this meditation at any time. And please let me know if you enjoyed it. This is actually my first meditation I've ever posted on my YouTube channel. And I hope it was helpful to you today. My goal with this page is to give people moments of peace and help them discover the happiness within themselves. May you be well. And I love you.